What is up, everyone? In this video, I want to show you the locations for all the vessels so you guys can find them easier and complete the legacy of the Horadrim. Some of these vessels are actually kind of like tied to quests related to your level. We're going to start with those ones first. You're going to get the very first vessel when you reach level 49 and you unlock the Sanctum. You're going to have to complete a Challenge Rift level 10 in order to get the Kel Descent's Compassion. The next one, the second one, you're going to get it by beating the raid boss Lassal from the Heliquary. And you're going to get the Tal Rasha's Authority. The third one, you're actually going to get it when you reach level 60. You got to complete the storyline and kill the final boss. And you're going to get the Jarrett's Chain Vision. Now, we have another one that I'm personally missing at the moment. This one right here at the bottom. The Ibed Fats Tenacity. You got to get it from the chest, guys. So when you open chests in the Sanctum, you have a 1% chance to drop this. So make sure you're making the most out of it with the chest. And you're opening them daily because the chances are extremely, extremely low. Now we have a few very painful to get and they're tied behind bosses in the open world. I'm going to walk you through every single one of the destinations. We're going to start with the Nilfer's Precision kill the blood rose if you want to find the blood rose and kill it is a world boss you're gonna find it all the way in the dark wood right here at the bottom corner you're gonna have to navigate there guys and find the boss is gonna spawn every 20 minutes this is one of the most annoying bosses in the entire game because it has a very weird mechanic a lot of people don't seem to understand it especially when they're coming in without making any sort of research when he spawns that red circle around him basically he's gonna suck people in whenever he does that He's gonna get back on full HP, so you wanna avoid that. Let's move over to the next vessel. You're gonna be able to get the next vessel, the North Tirash Knowledge, by completing the Ancient Nightmare event. For this one, you're gonna have to kill a world boss as well. It's gonna spawn every two days or something like that, so make sure you're keeping an eye on it. It's gonna spawn on Mount Zavion around this area. Unlike the Blood Rose, this boss is much easier. You're gonna have to break his shield kill him, collect your vessel, and move over to the next one. The next vessel, Caitlyn's Piety, is actually in the same location. You're gonna have to kill Lord Martinos in order to get it. This is another world boss that spawns on Mount Zavion, this time around right here at the Zacrum Cemetery, and this boss spawns more often. Nothing special about this boss in terms of mechanics or anything crazy like that. You're always gonna find a bunch of people in that area, so it's gonna be pretty easy to kill him. The Zoltan Kul's vessel is actually found in his library. We're gonna be able to acquire it by killing a world boss we're gonna have to kill a hydra this one is actually in the library how i mentioned guys so the hydra boss is gonna spawn in this location right here now there are a couple of things that you need to know about it again nothing crazy in terms of mechanics a bunch of people will always be in the library it's one of the busiest places in the entire game basically in order to summon bosses world bosses in this location you're gonna have to collect pages fill up tomes and whenever you have a tome you're gonna be able to either summon a portal either summon a world boss now it's not a necessity for you to do it other people can summon the bosses and you can participate in it make sure you are keeping an eye on the left side of the screen where it's gonna show you the timer and you're gonna probably see a hydra is appearing or the hydra is coming and you're gonna have a timer like a two three minutes notification to give you enough time to reach the location it's gonna be pretty straightforward so many people around so even if you don't know how to do the pages other people are doing it all the time so make sure you are in the area if you are looking for this uh, vessel the bosses can spawn every 30 minutes so it's not something extremely rare but not too common either and if you are curious to learn more about the pages and the uh, the tomes, I'm actually going to link a video up here, so feel free to check that out if you want to do everything by yourself. And for the last vessel, guys, the Guild of the Nameless. This one actually comes from the very same place, from the library of Zoltan Kul. We're going to need to kill another world boss. This time around, we're going to have to kill the Golem. Yes, you heard that, right? Head back into the library, study a bit more. This time around, you're not going to go to the circle. You're actually going to go all the way up here into the corner. That's where the golem is going to spawn. Again, every 30 minutes, the boss can spawn. It's going to be random which one of the bosses is going to get summoned whenever you're using a tome. So make sure you're keeping an eye on it. These are very common. You're going to find them super easy. So honestly, it's nothing to worry about. But that was all for this video, guys. Much love. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all soon in the next one.